Making television is a team sport, mm -hmm. correct? Now it's time for Chronicle to say goodbye to two of its best teammates. Our coach, managing editor Susan Sloan, and senior producer Stan Levin retire at the end of the month. Both helped to make Chronicle what it is today. Google Susan Sloan Chronicle, and this video from 2011 pops up. How would you describe the show? She's where she wants to be, off camera. But as Chronicle's managing editor for the past 35 years, she's greatly influenced what Chronicle's viewers see on camera. Now, as she prepares to step away, I turn the camera on her to talk about time and lessons learned. So before we talk about the end, uh, let's talk about the beginning. I got here, I think it was Ronald Reagan who was president. I was working in news. When a position opened up in Chronicle, I decided to go for it. Best thing I ever did. People probably have no idea how many story ideas come through the Chronicle offices. Let's take a look, shall we? <laughs> shall we? Right now, at this moment, I have 736 emails that I haven't read, okay? And that's... I've read some emails today, I have. So that's the volume that we get. A good story is one that isn't just on the surface, that isn't just one note. And it has a denseness to it that some stories just don't have. The show is about time. Is there something you think about about time as you leave? I only hope that I've helped raise the level and quality of this TV program. This half hour that people sit down to every night to learn more about themselves, to learn more about where they live, and to learn more about the issues of the day, and to find some really good pizza. <laughs> As you wind down, what's it feel like? This has been home to me, and uh, I'm very lucky that way. I learned from the best and I gave my best. Thanks, because now it's our burden. <laughs> <laughs> Before there was a 24-hour food network, Chronicle Stan Levin took us into kitchens and dining rooms across New England. He's also leaving Chronicle, but not before we traveled to Eastern Standard, where I had one last meal with Stan, a producer truly ahead of his time. 35 years with the Chronicle, and you're finally now hanging out the apron. Your most memorable shows. I went with Mary, who later became my wife. We went to China for three weeks and shot three shows in China. We rode mules down the Grand Canyon. I don't think I had ever been on a horse, let alone a mule. I grew up Jewish in Brookline. We, we didn't ride horses, we bet on them. <laughs> I mean, who gets to do that stuff? All right, you mentioned a lot of great shows, but you failed to mention any of your food shows. And Stan, that is what you do. Where did this love and passion for food come from? About 25 years ago, it came to me one day that we could maybe do a half hour on pizza. And everybody thought I was out of my mind. This was before, you know, Top Chef, any of this stuff. And the response was phenomenal. People couldn't believe it. Our audience so loved to know where to eat, where to go, what's new, what's trendy, that it just seemed like a, you know, a, a marriage made at the uh, buffet table. <laughs> Hello. And no buffet would be complete without a roast, which some longtime friends in the industry were happy to provide. Mixologist and restaurateur Jackson Cannon. Your favorite Chronicle memory? Well, it was the time that we had Mary on the bar. The stand was standing right over there, and she was trying to shake drinks, and I'm like teasing her the whole time. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Eastern <laughs> Standard owner Garrett Harker. You know, the story of the evolution of the Boston restaurant scene, it includes this guy front and center for sure in my mind. Got a job for this guy? Yeah. Oh, I would, uh, don't even tease me. The Mater D position just opened up, Shana. With all jokes aside, the last thing to do was, well, eat. Man, you taught me how to eat. Yeah, we. <laughs> We have we, had some. We have thrown down these two, okay? <laughs> you came by it with natural talent. <laughs> All right, so what's next for those two? Well, Susan's looking forward to spending more time with her grandchildren and Stan with his Mary. And producers Kathy Bickemer and Maggie Harper also retired this year, as did photographer Carl Vieira. We will miss oh. you all. That is Chronicle for tonight. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shannon Seymour. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>